Hello guys, my name is Michael and today we are going to continue with our GTK grid uh, widget. Uh, we were talking in the last tutorial just a little bit about it because we had to, uh, um, that I said, I had to provide some information about what this thing exactly means and I was showing you uh, what uh, does and so on. Just remember uh, GTK grid, uh, it is a widget which uh, it is basically a container where you can put a lot of other widgets uh, and uh, without it or without a container you cannot create an application uh, when you are working with GTK. Okay, so that being said, let me run the program the, the way it is now. As you can see, it is the way it was yesterday. Uh, at least uh, how it was uh, on the last tutorial. Uh, let's see what uh, documentation can provide us today. Information which uh, function we can use today. GTK grid. Okay. So as I can told you uh, last time, there are some functions. There are not so many. Uh, not so many properties and uh, so on. The description we are not gonna, going to talk today about it. Now, uh, let me, before we, we proceed, uh, I want to tell you that there are two kinds of, or there are two ways to, uh, where which you can create um, a grid table. Uh, one which I'm using you all the time, it's which it is which I'm uh, going to show you uh, in a moment and uh, which is uh, creating a grid and uh, putting uh, as child another grid so basically we are going to create uh, in uh, uh, five grids together and uh, there is a second one which is where you insert rows and columns we are going to talk about this too okay so that being said uh, we are going to call this function again to create those childs gtk widget child uh, better said child one child two child three child four okay two three and four okay so basically we're, we are going to create this uh, child okay so let's say child one we will point it to gtk um, grid grid new And then um, we are going to create a border. Border with uh, GTK container grid. And uh, let's say, I don't know, three, three pixels. Okay, we will be fine. Okay, next next team um, GTK widget. We are going to give a size to this widget. So child one, it will be let's say nice nah, to be 100, 100. Okay, uh, things we can do. Let's let's give it a name. Uh, no, we, we are going to let like this for, for a moment just because I want to show you something uh, which is better for you to understand. Now, uh, there is something very, very, very important which you need to know and you need to understand. Uh, when you create a grid, like now here, and then uh, you create uh, a child to this grid, they are the first child uh, you can uh, add it in two ways, like providing this function gtk add uh, container add. So child one. I'll run the program the way it is, and of course we don't we didn't did. Uh, okay so as you can see nothing happens the child is not here of course not here because even the child it is a container no matter if it's uh, a grid or a 
if we create another grid or uh, if we create a row or something or a col column okay so that being said we are going to give a name to our child with the function which you already should be not familiar with uh, gtk which widget set uh, set name and uh, widget name will it is child and we are going to say my child one okay now we are going to here to our um, uh, CSS uh, file and here we are going to create our child let's say my child okay we don't need now my child it's, it's okay so let's use uh, a bright background of I know let's say orange okay it will be fine the colors which you put here it is your decision okay now let that let run the program see what happens as you can see our child is here so basically um, this is the way how we created this child you see okay um, now um, let's um, let's create um, let's create something uh, okay here yeah, I made a make mistake now I'm uh, now I was noting because I, I I used grid we need to we need to create uh, a border for our child not for our grid and uh, basically I know this is because watch I will run the program again you see there is no space here and here on the left side and on the top side so I wanted to have it there so basically I used uh, as a GTK container our grid instead of our child so now you will see it uh, okay you see now we have this uh, space here this is the border which we were creating now let's move on with the next um, next uh, children children 2 3 and 4 of course we are going to copy uh, but before we do that, uh, before we do that, let us uh, let us uh, see the second uh, uh, the second option. We we'll go back here to our grid, and there are some functions here. There are a function called GTK grid attach, uh, which says um, this function um, adds a widget to the grid. The position of child is determined by left and top. So this means left and top. The number of cells the child will occupy is determined by the width and height. So this means um, uh, here say the width is, is the number of columns that child will span, and height is the uh, the number of rows that a child will span. What this exactly means, uh, we will talk about it. Uh, later because we are not going to uh, provide the I'm, I'm, I'm not going to provide a, an example here I will do it later I just want to know that we are going to use one here for one column and one row so this means it will span only to one column and one row anyway this function uh, as you can see uh, takes two for six parameters the first one is a grid the second is a child and then it's the left top width and height okay what this means let's see uh, I will come in out the uh, grid part here and uh, now we are going to use this for child the first one is our grid gtk grid which is our parent the second one is the child so in this case the child one the next one is the left top uh, left and the top the left will be zero and the top will be also zero so this means basically it will be here on the left and here on the top and the next one it will be one and one it doesn't span so i run the program now again to see what's the difference so as you can see it is the same thing so it's not important if you use this function uh, or you attach the grid when it's about the first uh, child remember it is about the first child you cannot call this um, uh, function again once that you call it 
so basically uh, maybe it probably it would be better for you if you use this function all the time when you attach shells to um, the grid but like I said it's not important you can add a child and then attach the next child to it okay so that being said uh, this is the way how we create and add a child now we are going to create another three childs uh, let's drop this part because here is too much and we are not going to need those uh, so many information so this will be the four okay let me just change those names here will be three and then we are going to talk about this in a moment and here is two now uh, we are creating a child this one here uh, let me drop this part here because we don't need so uh, we are creating a child which we said uh, we put the child here and here watch what happens if I run out of the program I did it in purpose uh, without explaining why I'm creating four child without uh, explaining the other three uh, because of this you see we create uh, four child but we are seeing only one so where are those other uh, three child uh, disappearing well they are here we just mess a little bit our program because we said put the first child here put the second child here put the third one here and put the fourth one here so this is the basically what uh, we were uh, doing here and uh, maybe you didn't want to okay so now uh, let's put the second child so I will just put one here which means one from the left so basically what this means I said now uh, push the second child from the left side one which is here this is zero this is one and from the top uh, put it to zero which is here so now we have our two uh, two childs here and uh, they are missing the other two of course and those other two childs uh, we are creating now will be um, this time we had here zero zero now we are going to use zero one let's run the program and see what happens and this time we said put our child at the zero position it had to be here but then we said uh, at uh, one position from the top so basically the 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 um, our grid child was pushed one down so once was here and then was pushed it down so basically now we got it here and now the our last um, child which is of course I think you already noticed it is one one it has to be one one and uh, the last child came here and the child is now we said push our child one to the left not zero one to the left which basically was here and then we said push it one from the top down basically which was here and then we pushed our uh, child here now we have our four childs here and as you can see uh, they are here let me maximize the window as you can see the size of those four childs remains the same they are not exp uh, uh, expanding or um, they are not changing their size because uh, we are requesting this size for our widgets and stays like this if you want to change that we are go going to uh, see how uh, we can do that and so on and basically this is the way how you create a grid and uh, how you put for childs to uh, to your grid and this is a very 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 important information which you need to uh, remember it is that every child starts from left and from top so basically when you say zero zero means means this one because it said put it on the left on zero position and from the top on zero position if you want to put it here then you, you will say put it from the left at one position this is zero this is one and uh, basically when you say that your your uh, child will be here but because you said put my child from top to one 
so this is the top side you will say you will push it down here because this one is zero and this one is one so that that means left one top one it's that's that's simple so it should not be a problem for you to remember that and to know how to work with this uh, child's okay so that being said i think it's enough for today because uh creating the, those four childs it uh, even if it's um, um not so much uh, information and you not uh, you do not uh, need to pay too much attention but because we are creating four childs with different uh, positions uh, and so and uh, you saw that uh, we created uh, those childs we we were giving name like uh, my child and uh, we uh, styled it with uh, background color orange so basically the, we were changing the color of those childs so that we can um, see that those childs are there because if the childs are not there let's let me change then i know with something else put the one here you, you will never notice you see so i strongly suggest you when you create a gtk program be before you you decide how you create your layout and before you decide how you put your your uh, widgets um, create uh, everything you create use a background just to see where exactly is the position of the child's and the child of the child and so on and just after you show that you need a button let's say here and you put it here then drop the color if you want to uh, at least uh, if the button is not uh, the same size as, as the container uh, uh, drop the, the color if it is then you can let it because it will be overridden with the button so you won't see it uh, because once that you give a color to your child and ev not just your child to every possible thing which you create in GTK uh, you will notice that it will be much easier for you to to create uh, um, to create uh, those applications because just just think of what happens if I'm I will I'm putting here a button now when I will uh, uh, maximize uh, the window where does go the button now what do you think it will be here it will be here it will be here or it will be here or here you never know so for this to know for example uh, for to be sure it is uh, better for you to create those childs and uh, give them those colors and after you have those color uh, created um, and printed and then you know for exactly the position where it will be when the user maximize its window we will see about that in the next tutorial uh, how we can fix uh, these things okay so that being said thank you guys for watching and uh, if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys